can a guitar pedal really replace an amplifier? Today we're going to find out. Recording this guy here? I ain't my teeth. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to go back and I wanted to look at the Moore 05 Brown Sound. How do you say that? Today, I wanted to take a look back at the Moore Brown Sound Micro Preamp. Before we get started, a couple things. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. All the links for those are in the description below. And if you want to engage with me outside the comments and the videos, you can do so there. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. You can become a bell ringer. That's actually a comment from Adam Freeman. Just start using that. Be a bell ringer. That way you can be notified when I make new videos. Huh? Huh? You know you want to. I've seen more and more people, pun intended, using these things in conjunction with small, solid state power amps to replace their amplifiers. And I've been a fan of this ever since I purchased my first Moore Micro Preamp, which was actually the Brown Sound, which we're gonna be looking at today. So stick around for that. Cause that's why you're here, right? That's why you clicked on the video. It's because you want to see what exactly is going on with that little pedal. Grab that, where did you go? Oh, you're over here. So I bought this thing about a year ago and it was less than $100 and this thing gets used all the time. So here's the pedal. There we go. I take this with me as a backup live in case anything happens with, I was using a GE200 but now I'm using an Ampero and I just take this as a backup just in case anything happens to that. I also use it to run a DI through for backing tracks for guitars. What happens when I'm playing live with my band is I'm playing one guitar track and then the other guitar track is a DI going out into one of these and another power amp and into an amplifier. I actually originally purchased this because I heard Cradle of Filth had replaced their rigs and were just using these live. And I thought to myself, no way, a band that big is ditching their amplifiers to replace them with these tiny little pedals. Probably they're just running these in a front of house and not using any stage sound, just using the PA from whatever venue they're playing at because you know a band that big is playing venues with awesome PAs all the time. My band's not doing that so I definitely have to have stage sound so I'm still hauling around a cabinet. Actually I'm gonna be testing out a Harley Benton 2x12 here pretty soon. It just shipped. Make sure to check back for that. That'll be really exciting. But I'm always looking for ways to reduce the size of my rig and just make it a little bit more economical to play shows with and to travel around with. This was a very cool purchase. I was really stoked on it. So I just wanted to take another look at it and show people how you can use this in a live situation uh, if you are interested in not hauling around a big tube head. Because why would you? I don't even think the aesthetic of tube heads really looks that cool anymore. You know, I remember back in the day, it was awesome. Like you'd see these bands bringing like two or three tube heads on stage with them and like two full stacks and no one cares anymore. That had its moment in time and it was very cool then, but you know, nowadays it's just about how can you make playing shows and even touring more economic? That's how you do it right there. What we're gonna do in this video is I'm going to plug into this guy and mic up a cabinet and I'm gonna be powering this with an ISP Stealth. I'm not powering this with an ISP Stealth. That's stupid. Let me back up on that one. And I'm gonna be running this into an ISP Stealth which is gonna be powering my Mesa 4x12. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do and I'll show you what it sounds like. Oh, this thing's really cool. And as always, if you have any questions on this pedal or any of the gear on my channel, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer any of the questions I have. And you know, if you wanna see me demo anything on this, like, you know, you want me to dive into the Crunch channel, or if you know, you wanna hear what this sounds like directly into an interface or something like that, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always checking the comments and reading them and your guys' suggestions actually help me come up with ideas for videos. So I really appreciate all the comments and thank you so much. And also big shout out to my new subscribers. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming onto the channel and contributing to the community. I actually look forward to engaging with you guys in the comments and talking. It actually uh, kind of makes my day. So keep those comments coming. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so the way I have this hooked up is I'm running my brown sound into my ISP Stealth I'm using an ISP Stealth as opposed to a tube amp just because it's a solid state amp and it's gonna be really clean. There's not gonna be any additional coloring besides the brown sound pedal. I'm also running a tube screamer in front of the brown sound and a noise gate in front of that. That's pretty much the way that I would hook this up. Essentially, if I had a 5150 here, 
it would be hooked up the same exact way, just minus the stealth power amp and the brown sound. I would still be using the noise gate in front of it and a tube screamer to boost it. And I'm miking my Mesa 4x12 that has vintage 30s with an SM57. That's all that's in the signal chain. I'm not doing any post-processing or like post-EQ or any trickery like that. What you're hearing is just the SM57 picking up the sound coming out of my cabinet. Okay, let's engage the pedal and check it out. Sounds pretty good as is, but let's dial it in a little bit and see if we can get a little bit more bite out of it. So here's my thoughts on this situation. I think this is a really great solution for one of two things, either a guitar player that's on an extreme budget and you need an amp to keep up with a drummer, but your budget is less than $500. For $400 or less, you can get a really awesome guitar tone that's loud enough to keep up with a drummer in a practice space and definitely loud enough to play shows. The second type of person that this would really appeal to is the guitar player who doesn't want to carry around an amp head, which is me. I hate lugging around heavy gear. I mean, if I could, I would rather just show up to a gig with less gear. I mean, it's less stuff to load in and out. It decreases your setup time. I mean, there's a lot of advantages to having a small rig like this. I think that the solution in the future 
to having to haul around cabinets and heads and all this heavy gear that you have to load into a trailer, which weighs down your van, which is eating up your gas mileage, is really just going compact with stuff like this. I mean, you can build a small rig out of pedals that fits in a backpack. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually just run out of that pedal into the front of house and not have the cabinet and not have the power amp and use the cab simulation that's built into the pedal. And it would still be a totally viable option. But for this demo's sake, I just wanted to show what it sounded like through a four x 12 mic'd up so that you get the idea of what it actually sounds like in a live scenario or what it would sound like in your band practice, for example. That's it for this demo. Let's cut back over there and yeah. So how do you guys feel about using a micro preamp pedal to replace your amplifier? I mean, I think it's a really cool option and I'm way into this new trend of guitar gear getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I think it's really great for gigging musicians and even, you know, bedroom musicians alike because you don't want like a stack of amplifiers filling up your whole bedroom. It's not very sexy for the ladies. You know what I mean? Fucking, what am I talking about? God. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I will see you next time. Bye!